back to fixing that up. Today we're going to be going over the cross body position. Now we found our uh, self on the bottom here. No matter how we ended up here, uh, maybe a crazed, uh, mostly unkillable monster threw us down, whichever. First thing to know is, uh, we'll get into this later on when we're on top, but your opponent, when they have a clue, will go ahead and they'll keep one arm on this side uh, on your hips. This is just simply to keep you from uh, attaining the guard too easy from this position. One of their hands will usually be over the top of your body here, and that also helps to keep you from turning into the guard. First thing uh, to notice is both my hands here are on top. Now this is not a very great position for me. I usually like to take this outside hand that's uh, away from my opponent and I will slip it down right here. I'll slip it down underneath, raise up a little bit and show them. Underneath their armpit usually is where I will slip this while they're laying on top. This one here I'll use to put on their hip or just use my elbow to keep on their hip. Just to show where the arm comes through right here. It's coming right through their armpit. Raise up a little bit so they can see. Right through their armpit. Now this position here, uh, I should note, let's turn back over this way, is in my opinion, and a lot of other people's also, the uh, second worst position you can be in, mainly because of all the weapons they have here. Uh, from the mount, see, they can do the they can do the punches, they can do the elbows, but from this position they can do all of that plus the knees. They can drive devastating knees to your head, to your uh, ribs. So obviously the back mount being the first and very dangerous position, this the second and the mount the third. <clears throat> Alright, we got our hand through. Uh, we're going to practice this move it's called turning in with power. We just simply get our hand through like I was saying before. This one's blocking with the wrist here, with the hips I mean. Put your foot, the far side foot right here, flat out on the mat and you're going to turn in facing your opponent and as you turn in you're going to push this arm straight through their armpit all the way through and I'll show real slow turn over toward them pushing that arm straight through as you uh, come up to this side right here you're going to just slide right on through dragging this elbow right here you're going to hop up to your knee and you're going to hop up and you're going to be on your foot right here and from here you're just going to simply circle around their back They'll probably end up going for that headlock that they so love to do. That's fine. As you circle around, just duck right up underneath that and come back around. And you're set up right here for the back mount. Do it one time from this side. This is the arm up and through. Base in the foot. Turning into them. And remember, it's very important in this move uh, not to kick back out with your hips. Because if you do that, you're inviting them out. This arm through right here, if they try to step up uh, and get the mount from here, as you can see, go ahead and try to step up and get the mount, it's kind of a blocker as it is. Slide this elbow on up through, jump up right here to your foot, just duck under that arm and you're pretty well squared up for the back mount. Show again from this side. Different side here, left arm goes through, got this side blocking, we're going to go up on this foot here. Just turn into them, slide this arm all the way through, pull this elbow in, jump right up right here, and as you can see the back mounts right here. Alright, this is the same similar one to the turning in with power, but this time our hands are up here. We're going to be uh, on the neck here instead of underneath the armpit. Same thing as before, you just turn into them, slide this all the way up as far as you can get it, and this time you've got like a little hook here between the... Uh, inside of your elbow. You can pull up right here and get back on the uh, your elbow. Same thing before, knee and foot. This time notice their arm wrap the way it is. You got the wizard opportunity available for you here. If it's too low, right here is easy wizard. If it's too high right here, you got this inside shoulder lock. Now uh, obviously you can do a whole lot of moves from this wizard here, but the first thing you need to do when you jump up from here, or even before if you can, Knee, foot, grab their wrist. Should be bop, 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 or hopefully just one move. Grabbing that wrist. Now that's what we're going to do first here. Same thing right here. This one's on their hip still, or you can do the elbow or the hand. Turn in with them. Push back out. Jump up here. Force them down. Grab this wrist. Very important to grab this wrist. 
it keeps them from uh, counter basing on your neck and forcing you back down you see uh, when as soon as you get a hold of this wrist now this time we're wanting to pull down on them with a wizard as far as we can with a wizard <laughs> we're going to work our way back around here just to get to their side and we're going to pull this arm that will drive them right on down and look here we're now crossbody ourselves so we just changed it completely around crossbody to crossbody one more time and over the head this one blocking the hips turn into them drag right here jump up grab this wrist just simply pull this wrist into you remember as you push down with this uh, shoulder and just kind of drive straight to the floor with this hand or fist that you're making on this side it happens to be the right hand pushes them right down now you're in crossbody you can start working it one more time from this side this one's around the neck remember turn in and push come up right here just to your elbow and that's just so you can get this hop up right here grab this wrist and as soon as you grab that wrist get this wizard immediately come out from around their back see if you grab this and start pushing here it's just not going to be as effective if you get this wizard now you can force your shoulder down hand straight down and as you pull this base it drives them straight down to the ground let's do this one more time a little quicker once again from this angle hand up over the head force through right here now as soon as we hit the knees remember <clears throat> grab this wrist get your wizard on force down and over and grab and rip this base out from under boom landed right in the cross body now this is a simple enough move and it will get you out of the cross body a lot of times but uh, you need to watch part two to this tape. Uh, we're going to go over many, many, many more crossbody escapes from the bottom. And thanks for watching.